Good morning. Today we are going to present our work with the title Six Thinking Cards, a game focused on developing argumentative skills in the chemistry classroom. We are Luciana Pereira de Almeida and Victoria Beatriz de Santos de Oliveira. This work was developed with the help of a supervisor, Cristiano de Barcelos Passinato. We are from Brazil and our university is Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro. Teaching practice today has been considering the students at the center of their own learning and have tried to create new strategies to help help them to develop essential skills, such as critical thinking, problem solving, argumentative skills, and the ability to communicate with others efficiently. One theory that has been great in explaining how students learn the best and what to do to help them to improve in the, in the learning process is the meaningful learning theory, described by Ausubel as the process through which new information acquires meaning through by interaction with pre-existent relevant aspects in the cognitive structure. That means that students or anyone in general, learn the best when they, the new information they are learning interacts with previous information already present in one's cognitive structure. One of the ways to which this new knowledge can interact is the process of creating argument. For that, one's cognitive structure is challenged and to change and adapt. The method six thinking had in schools is considered a technique to the develop abilities like interpreting data, solving problems, anticipating challenges, and regulating emotional responses. This method consists of using colors to represent stages of focused thinking, and every color has a meaning. Blue represents the learning process about the subject, yellow represents the positive vision, black represents caution, red represents general and personal feelings associated with it, White represents the facts, and green represents creativity and solutions, the problem solving as fact. Right. The game aims to act as a tool for active learning that is sensitive to the environment and needs of each individual student as they build their knowledge by means of argumentation and exposure of their opinions. The cards will all have a common back with the name of the game and a front containing a color and a chemical concept. The color and chemical concept indicated in the card will point to the focused stage of thought that the student should express. The cards will have the tactile writing system Braille and also the Libras Brazilian Sign Language sign so students with sight and hearing disabilities can participate. The first student will pull out a card, read the scientific concept and call on it and have some time to prepare the argument. Once they feel confident, they start the arguments which should reflect the stage of focused thinking represented by the color of the card. The other ones taking part in the game should be able to understand which concept and color is being expressed by the argumentation used by the student. The objective of the game is to go over all six stages of focused thought by the same concept. It is expected that these games help students to improve their cognitive skills by means of selective argumentation, developing a thought understanding of a concept. Another skill that these games aim to develop is emotional response control. When students are asked to direct their thinking to emotion, as in the red car, they are working on their ability to reflect upon their personal experience and feelings associated and also on other people's emotional response to it improving their interpersonal and interpersonal response. Considering the inherent school environment needed to work on a student's real life challenge, these games offer a cooperative atmosphere in it in which students learn to work with others with the objective of achieving a common goal. This game also doesn't apply the pressure of competition on its participants, seeing that competition can act against the purpose of making the participants comfortable to think and voice their arguments. After analyzing the game and comparing it to the theoretical background, we can get the conclusion that the game has the potential to improve a students' argumentative skills. It can be applied in inclusive classroom and help students to engage in cooperative learning environment, environment developing 21st century essential soft skills such as communication problem solving and teamwork. We would like to thank our project supervisor Cristiano de Barcelos Passinato for the orientation in touching some topics on accessibility and inclusion in the learning and teaching process. Thank you for the attention.